Hi, it's Nick Walsh. Welcome to the course. This is a beginner's WordPress web design course. At the end of the course, you will be able to do WordPress gigs such as install a theme, create a contact form, integrate your site to MailChimp email service so you can send customers emails, and you'll be able to do many other gigs and create a complete WordPress website. Don't delay starting the course. Every day you wait, you're leaving money on the table and losing money because millions of businesses need your skills. Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. The years go by in a blink. After this course, you can create websites that look like this or this or this or this they're quite simple to make you learn all the skills you need in this course and you can start making websites within hours of starting this course Many people earn $500 plus for a starter seven page WordPress website. You can add contact forms like this. I'll teach you how to do this. You can add sidebars like this. I'll teach you how to do that. You can add images and photos like this I'll teach you how to do that you can add a banner ad like this I'll teach you all these skills this video will cover how much you can earn doing simple WordPress gigs and the skills I teach you on this WordPress course you'll be able to do exactly like these people are doing so let's have a look at this gig he's done 7574 so he's doing a small WordPress fix for $15 he's doing a complete website for $350 so these are gigs you can do and get paid basically if he's doing 7574 let's have a look how much he's earned Let's have a look at the calculator. 7,574 times $5 equals $37,870 he's earned. You can do this. The skills I teach you on this course are exactly the same skills, easy skills to learn that he's doing. Let's have a look at some others. Different ones will do different gigs. Let's have a look at this. Five thousand nine hundred and seven gigs he's done. There's his reviews. If you have a WordPress blog or site and want to modify it, this gig provider can help. You can do plugin gigs after this course. You can add AdSense, Amazon, Aweber, integrate that, Clickbank. You can put a contact form 7 after this course that I teach you. You can do this, MailChimp. These gigs will be easy. You can do this. 5,907. Let's have a look. Five thousand nine hundred and seven times five dollars equals twenty nine thousand five hundred and thirty five dollars. So if you want to learn and get started, let's start and you can do these gigs other gigs you can do, complete WordPress sites, 
you can start off doing a five dollar gig for someone and then once they got confidence in you they'll ask you to do a five hundred dollar website start small and you can do gigs like this create a wordpress blog or website he's done 708 85 dollars he charges for a blog 100 dollars for a wordpress site 125 for a woocommerce these are different gigs and you can do them all you just have to learn and i teach you everything that Hi, it's Nick Walsh. In this video, we're going to install the new WordPress version 4.4 called Clifford. It's the newest version as at 4th of January 2016. I'm here in my Bluehost account. You should have already bought your domain and hosting from Bluehost or GoDaddy or HostGator whoever you want to use. I use Bluehost, I think they're the best. So you've got your domain, you've got your hosting package, and we're going to log in to my account and I'll teach you how to install WordPress version 4.4. Click Submit. Logging into the account. And we're going to come down. Install WordPress. Click here, you'll have a similar button if it's GoDaddy you're with, or HostGator, or anyone else. Click Install WordPress. It's installing WordPress for you, the latest version. We go to here, click, and it's loading version 4.4. If you've got several domains, you need to pick which one you want to install it on. WordPress 4.4, I'll install it on Swansea City Plumbers. Click check domain it's loading for you the wordpress 4.4 version just take a few more seconds last step you're almost there click i have read the terms and conditions install now it's loading just a few more seconds Okay, we're setting up WordPress for you. So that's all done. If you go and do that now, and you'll be well on your way. To Hello, this website, builtwith.com, lets you find out what websites are built with. Let's have a look at the BBC. Web server certificates, email services, everything that the BBC website is using is all here. I've been asked about responsive web design. It's an approach to web design aimed at crafting sites to provide an optimal viewing and interaction experience, easy reading and navigation with a minimum of resizing, panning and scrolling across a wide range of devices, desktop computer monitors, mobile phones, etc. If you want to use a different responsive theme to the customizer theme in this tutorial, then just enter responsive themes in the search box at wordpress.org and you'll be given 191. In the course I use Customizer. It's easy and it's responsive. It's compatible with all browsers and devices, mobile friendly. So it resizes when someone looks at your website in a mobile phone or on an iPad or on a desktop PC so that is what we are talking about when we mention responsive it will resize to fit which device you're using so your website looks fine on any device so to recap if you want a responsive theme different from the one I teach customizer just enter here and you'll have a list of 190 odd. Technology built with .com 
enter any site and it'll come up and show you everything about that site what's been used Customize a theme, it's already on this course and you've downloaded it already and it is responsive. So it will resize for mobile, tablets, PCs. Thank you for watching. Welcome back, it's Nick Walsh and we're going to build the website with a theme called Customizer. So first we need to go into the website dashboard area and log in. So we've logged in and now we're in the dashboard area. We need to come down to appearance, click themes. Next wordpress.org themes. Very important that we go here. Basically, we need to search whilst we're in this section. WordPress approves themes. We don't want to go outside WordPress and get a theme because there's a risk that when we download it, it could be full of malware and bugs. So it's WordPress.org. Search for themes here. Click return and customizer is what we're looking for. Here we see customizer. Details and preview. Five stars, 665. Looks very clean, very nice. Versatile, easy to customize WordPress theme. Instantly given a professional look to your online presence so we're going to come up install so it's installing the theme customizer downloading install pack and packing installing the theme successfully install the theme and let's click activate Thank you for watching this video. Welcome back, it's Nick Walsh and here we are in the swanseacityplumbers.co.uk website. We're in the dashboard. We're looking at the settings area here. Very important that we have a look at the permalink structure. So click permalinks and we'll be looking later at putting a static home page in. So firstly permalinks, we're here and as you can see it's set by default by WordPress as plain. So it would look like this. And any pages would then look P equals one, two, three and so on, which looks ridiculous. So we don't want that. It would appear here, one, two, three. So we don't want it. We want it to look professional. So click post name, post name. And then what you'll have is this here. And then you'll have about page. This will say services page, whatever page you make, it'll say contact us page so we need to save that and we'll come down to save changes basically that's gone and we have post name now what we'll do we'll have a look at another area so we're going to have a look at general click general in here by default it'll be blank and here blank 
What I've done is previously put in Swansea Plumbers. So whatever your site title is about, you can put it in. It's not really, really important, but you can put it in at this time to learn. Tagline, Plumbing Services in Swansea. That is what this website is all about. So the WordPress address URL will look like this, and it'll be up here. And the site address is like that. Email address, put in whatever you want, your own email address. This is for admin purposes only. These time zone, whatever your time zone, just click here and choose whatever time zone you are in. And basically date format. Time format. Quick start, site language, just ignore these for the time being. Save changes, click. So basically you've done that. Now what we're going to do is customize the website. So we have a static home page. We need to do that by customizing the appearance. So we come up to appearance and we click customize. Basically, we can customize the global settings, the header, the content, the post, the sidebars, the footer, the menus, the widgets, advanced options. So basically, we go in here, content, home posts. What do we want the front page to be? Click here, always the front page will be this. We don't want it to be latest posts. We want it to be a static page. So it always comes up and we want it to be the front page. So basically we'll come down here, have a quick look at these and we'll come back up and save and publish. We save in a static page. So the front page will always be a static page and it'll be the front page and it'll be swanseacityplumbers.co.uk. That will be the static page and that's the front page. Save and publish, click. Thank you for Welcome back, it's Nick Walsh, we're in the dashboard. We're going to now have a look at what that home page looks like. That is the static home page, so come up, we're in the dashboard. And here we see visit site. So this area, visit site, click. And we're looking at the beginnings of a professional looking website. Here we have Swansea Plumbers. Here we have plumbing services in Swansea. This will help with the Google search engine optimization. When in, anyone sort of types in plumbing services in Swansea, there's a good chance this site will come up in the top 10 once all the work's been done on it. Here we have messages, display main menu, second menu here, horizontally, manage menus in header now. So we'll dismiss these notices and clean up this site a bit. Then we'll have a little look at this. Remember, dismiss notice, default page. You don't have any pages in your website. This side menu is empty for the moment. So dismiss that. And basically what we have here is no widgets. So we'll dismiss that and just clean up the site. So you can see that it looks a bit better here. And we just got a home, nothing, no content at the moment. So basically what we'll do now, we'll go back to the dashboard. And we'll have a look at the other areas of the dashboard. And we'll customize it. So what we need to do is come down, Appearance, Customize, click. Basically, that's what your site looks like at the moment.
content and home posts, click. Pages and posts layout. So we want a sidebar. Do we want a left sidebar or a right sidebar? Two sidebars, left and right. Let's go for a right side sidebar. Click. So what will happen when we get content in this area, the right sidebar, we'll have content here. Post layout. We haven't got any posts at the moment, so we'll ignore that for now. If you want a blog, we'll cover that later. Pages default layout, you've got a selection here. We'll just leave it as it is at the moment. So basically, the right sidebar, we've told Customizer that we want a right sidebar here. Up to Save and Publish. Save and Publish. Hi, welcome back. It's Nick Walsh. Here we are. We have seven pages. If at any time these disappear from your screen whilst you're working, just click this little button here. Collapse menu. Bring it back. And you'll have all of these showing. So we've got our pages. We're now going to add these to a menu. We're going to name the menu up here. Main. We're going to save the menu. Now we're going to add these to the menu. Select all. So select it all. Add menu. Click. It's working. Here we go. These are all added to the menu. Basically, that would appear on a horizontal menu. The first on the left, then that, then that, then that, then that. Then that would be number seven. So that would be on the far right. We don't want that. We want that. So we drag it by clicking on it, holding down the mouse and putting it at the top. Then we'll have a boat page. Drag it by clicking it and holding the mouse. Releasing the mouse and we'll put it up here. Gets a little bit fiddly, but easily done. Drag it a little bit there. Okay, looks better. Home page about. Contact us is the last. Blog maybe I'll bring down to here. Just drag it down. Leave it there. So we want that save menu. So that's looking better. Now what we need to do, this is the menu. We need now to go to another area. Customize. Click. Now we go in to look not at menus, but because the menu is appearing in the header, which will be this area here, we want to look at header, so click header, and here we'll see navigation menus. Click navigation menus. We see that this theme supports two menus. We need to come down here, the main menu, select main in this box, the main menu design, select the design site menu, vertical or regular, horizontal. Look at the options. We don't want the side menu. We want a regular horizontal. Have a look here. How about more mobile devices? We'll ignore this for the time being. And the rest, we don't need it at the moment. So we go into click, save and publish. Main menu, main, regular, horizontal. And the menu should appear here. Save and publish.
Okay, that's saved. Now we're going back. Click here. And we're going to have a look at the site. Visit site. Here we see the menu. Home, about, plumbing tips, service area, service, blog, contact us. Thank you for watching this video. Hi, welcome back. It's Nick Walsh. Here we are at the home page of Swansea Plumbers. What we want to do now is add some content. Basically, what we're going to do is go into the dashboard. Click here. Come down here. Pages. All pages. So we're going to have a look at home. Edit. At the moment, there's nothing in there. Basically, you can either write the content yourself or I go to Fiverr and have things like um, write an article, 400 words. I've downloaded this. I've copied it. And now I'm going to paste it in. So we've got the first bits of information. Looks a bit boring because there's no pictures in there. But basically that's the start. Add media. So we'll put a photo of a plumber here. Click add media. What comes up is you can upload a file from anywhere you want such as Google Images. You must make sure that permission has been given and that you aren't infringing copyright. Media Library. Here we have a plumber. Click. Alt text, very good for search engine optimization. So What's this photo about? Let's say Swansea Plumber. That'll help you rank on page one for the search term, Swansea Plumber. That's the most important box, alt text. That's the key word that someone looking for a plumber in a certain area will have in the search box of Google. So that's very important. Alt text, very, very important. Don't let your website be hidden away. Make sure you optimize it. Insert in, into page. Here we are. Now what you can do, you can click on it. So I've clicked on it with the mouse and it allows you to have a line right. So it's over there or click here to align center or click here to align left. Basically, you can edit it. You can have full size. You can have thumbnail. Whatever you want. We'll leave it at full size. The alternative text is in there. Come down here. Update. So that's gone in there. Still looks a bit boring. So what we'll do, we'll insert an image in here. That could be whatever you want. Add a media. Could be something from the media library, nothing appropriate. So we'll upload files. So basically, you go to Google and you download an image and your files would appear in here. We'll look at that in the next video. Hello, it's Nick Walsh. Welcome back. We're in 
Google Images. That's Google Images. So in the search box, just type in Google Images and you'll be taken to this page. Google Images. We're looking for plumber photos to put on our website. Click. Here we are. What's important is that we go to Search Tools, click and usage rights. We do not want to infringe any copyright. So we've got to use this label. Labeled for reuse. Click here. Nothing else because we aren't allowed to use those images. Only labeled for reuse. Click. And here we are. These folders we can use. Free. And we'll choose this one. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll use that one. So right click and save image as. Click and we'll name it Plumber Image 1. Save. OK. That's saved. So we'll go back here to edit page. What we're doing now is looking for that plumber photo one. So we are in insert media. Just a quick recap to get there. We are on this page, home page. We've added that. Now we want to add one more photo here. Click here and click add media. So we go into select files. What we're going to do now is look for that download. Go here. You're in your hard drive now. Plumber. Image. One. And it's found it for us here. So we just click that with our mouse. And then we come down here and open. There's the photo. It's been opened in the media library. Alt text. We can put in whatever you want as a search engine optimization. Keyword. Swansea. Plumbing. Helps greatly with getting your page seen and onto the first page of Google for that search term when anyone clicks in the Google box. Insert into page. There you are, it's inserted into page. Again, you can right click it, have a good look. Align left, align right. No alignment. We'll have a look left. There you are. We'll keep it on the left and we'll keep it that size. So basically we've added that photo there. Don't forget to update. Let's have a look. It's in live. Visit the site. Home page. We'll just dismiss some of these notices. They are quite helpful, but we'll dismiss them at this time. So we've got that image there, that image there. So it's starting to take. Hello, welcome back. It's Nick Walsh. In this video, we are going to upload your logo. So you can have a look at Google and type in free logo software to make it yourself or get someone to make the logo for you for five dollars. Basically, we need to go to appearance and customize. So we're in the dashboard and we click customize. Basically, we're here and we're looking at global settings. Click. Then we go down to logo 
and then your file needs to be JPEG or one of these so when you have it made make sure that it's one of these formats click upload so we're going to upload it to your website mine is here already made MX plumbers so we're in the hard drive of my computer and this has been downloaded as a JPEG file click and highlight and open basically that now is downloading and there it appears on the website and that cost me five dollars there we are we're going to have a look now and save and publish see what the site looks like so we're going back and let's have a look come to here visit site and there we have a smart logo just here and it's on hello it's Nick Walsh welcome back in this section we'll have a look at affiliates becoming a seller or becoming an affiliate this is one site called jvzoo.com you become a seller or an affiliate you have instant affiliate payments global vendor access tracking statistics PayPal payments just taking a look at this recently paid client earnings 178 million 8406 and 11 cents quite easy to be an affiliate you can learn more just click in here sign up is free affiliates sellers why be a JV zoo seller the marketplace what are people selling careers debt economic entrepreneurship general management outsourcing education art gambling systems green solutions mobile publishing writing self-improvement spirituality sports let's have a look at cycling nothing at the moment in cycling basketball nothing at the moment let's have a look at graphic design these are graphic design products one product that's been sold have a look at CJ affiliate cj.com formerly commission junction these are sites you can earn money from sell your products or become an affiliate or sell your clients products the other one Clickbank these are products that are being sold Timeless U, $79, Surf Strength, $37. You can get 80% commission, depends on the product. Hello and welcome back. We're in the dashboard. Now we're going down to have a look at appearance and customize. So click customize. We're going to have a look at the settings. So we're looking at the global settings. Site title and tagline we've covered. The logo we've covered. And we're going to look at the skin. So at the moment this is the color. 
if you want to change the color then you're gonna have red this color here anything you want anything you prefer it's quite a good color at the moment but if you want to change it to say green change it there save and publish and we'll have a quick look at the site now so we go to visit site here click here and we're looking at the color there which has changed home just there so basically we're changing this here and there back to dashboard back to appearance customize and we're going to have a look at other features here global settings the fonts at the moment we have these selected click here if you want to change the fonts might be worth you doing some research on the best converting fonts at the moment to a google search so that you can convert lookers at your site into visitors let's try that and we'll change it there save and publish go to the site visit site and we see that uh, different fonts have appeared let's go back dashboard back to appearance customize into global settings social links here you can put your contact email address your twitter profile facebook google plus and anything else that you are hello it's Nick Walsh welcome back here we are we go into appearance and we go into customize we're in the dashboard now click customize and we'll have a look at a few other things global settings we've had a look at these and the skin and the social links link styles and effects at the moment fade effect on link hover so what that means the links when we hover over them there's a fade effect on them so any links see it fade in there that's what that means others you can have a look at let's have a look back titles icons display icons next to titles that's ticked when this option is checked a contextual icon is displayed next to the titles of pages posts archives and WP built-in widgets image settings light box effect on images is ticked if enabled which it is this option activates a pop-in window with the zoom effect when an image is clicked now to enable this effect on the images of your pages and post images have to be linked to the media file so we can have a look at the notes and resources for this in your own time sliders we're not doing on this site let's go back appearance customize global settings authors display an author box after each single post content well we don't want that so we'll uncheck that and save and publish let's go back have a look appearance customize
global settings smooth scroll just means it's enabled it's tech this option enables a smoother page scroll so when you're scrolling down the page that's what that means we'll go back appearance customize looking at the header design and layout the logo is on the left so when we go and look at the site the logo is on the left display display top border that's checked if you want to remove the colored top border then just uncheck that so that there has disappeared but it looks okay with it so we'll add that there it is there display the tagline let's have a look uncheck it's disappeared so we'll leave that unchecked social links in header the social links for your Twitter account LinkedIn page Google Plus page Facebook page they'll appear in the header once you've done them and you set up a site if you don't want them just uncheck that but I leave it checked these are just very basic not needed at the moment so we'll save and publish that and we'll go back to appearance customize header navigation menus assign menus to locations our main menu is main so that's been selected the type of menu design is a regular horizontal so that is set for that nothing else needed at the moment so it's horizontal regular you don't want a side menu really the best ones that look the best and most professional are horizontal save and we'll go back have a look at appearance customize content home and post quite a lot here we'll go through this in the next section welcome back it's Nick Walsh and we're going to customize the appearance of your website further so we'll go to appearance and customize we'll have a look now at content home posts front page click here the front page displays a static page that's very important it must say front page displays a static page so that will be your home page so the front page we need to select and that will be home page that means your home page will be the first one that appears when someone types in swanseacityplumbers.co.uk that's your home page it'll be the page that the Google crawlers and others like Bing Yahoo visit to get information to rank your new WordPress site the post page we haven't done posts yet so we'll leave that for the time being set up the front page layout a right sidebar so we need a right sidebar slider options we're not having a slider so we'll ignore that for now save and publish okay let's have a look at the site come back to Swansea Plumbers visit site home page is here so here we have it as you can see these features can be edited or remove them 
So what we'll do now, we'll clean up the site. So remove that demo slider. And we'll edit these to remove them. Disable, save and publish, and they've been removed. Back, dashboard, appearance, customize. Content home posts. So the front page, we'll just ch quickly check. Static page, home posts we haven't covered. Appearance, customize. The maximum number of posts per page when we do have the posts, which is blog section of your site, will be 10. It'll be a grid layout. Click saved. And we'll go back. Appearance, customize, content, home posts, single posts, post thumbnail position, don't display. Let's go back. Breadcrumb, we haven't covered. Not really important at the moment. Category tags, custom. Display post matters for single post, display post. These are ticked and be explained in another video. Gallery, enable customizer galleries. We're not doing the galleries at the moment. That'll be explained at a later date. Paragraphs. Enable drop caps. Apply drop cap to the first paragraph of your post or page content. Don't really need it. Let's go back. Comments. You can allow comment bubbles in the post title. It's up to you. Skin color. For the bubble. That'll be covered in posts. Enable comments on posts. You might want it, but you get a lot of spam. So we'll tick that and tick that. And that's the end of that video. Welcome back. It's Nick Walsh. Appearance and customize. We're going to. We're in the dashboard. Appearance, customize. We're going to look now at sidebars socials in sidebars do we want your twitter facebook and other social media links in the sidebar if you did you would tick that but we've already included them elsewhere so we don't want it there and we don't want it there so they'd come here if you wanted it Go back, 
responsive settings, dynamic sidebar reordering on small devices, activate this option to move the sidebars, well we do have one, on the right hand side we'll have one, after the main content block for smartphones or tablets viewport, so that will be a good idea because viewing on a smartphone or mobile phone then the main benefits and content will be at the top and the actual uh, small items will be at the very bottom then so that's a good idea to tick footer footer global settings social links and footer do we want them not really we've got them once in the website so we'll untick that stick the footer to the bottom of the page yes that'll be a good idea because in the footer we can add links later and that'll help the search engine optimization display back the top arrow and scroll yep okay we we'll leave that save publish go back back again menus we've done the main menu and this is it main it's got home about plumbing service area service blog contact us that's all been done click back widgets we'll be covering widgets soon in the right sidebar the only thing we have is recent posts recent plumbing tips that will be posts so it could be leaky tap how to fix how to pick the best boiler how to fix a garden tap which is leaking how to find the stopcock could be posts about best way to find out the best quality sinks let's go back footer widget area 1 don't really need one footer widget area 2 don't need one footer widget area 3 don't need one go back advanced options this is really for advanced so we won't go hello it's Nick Walsh and in this video we're going to use the text editor so what we'll do we'll go to the all pages section so all pages click here in pages and then we'll go down and have a look at home click the edit button here and we'll have a look at everything here this is the text editor bold italics strike through bulleted points numbered list block quote horizontal line a line left a line center a line right insert edit link remove link insert read more tag and we've got the toolbar toggle here underline paragraph sizes heading five four three two one justify text color paste as text clear formatting special character decrease indent increase indent and do redo and keyboard shortcuts here they are c for copy v for paste so default shortcuts control plus the letter so it's control plus c equals copy control plus v is paste control plus c z is undo control plus b is ball control plus u is underline and so on okay pattern plumbing heating repairs let's highlight that and we'll have that as heading one click and there it is plumber heating repairs plumbing or heating problem in west or central london let's put that in italic copy So the change you can see there let's have a few bullet points here so we'll click there go up and have a bulleted list so we've got that one there come down put the cursor there go back up bulleted list and then we'll come here and click the return and we'll get that there another bullet point come back up 
and come to there let's get some spacing in and then come to here let's take one of these spaces out and then come down hit the backspace